In this video, I'm going to share with you the story of how Duryodhan tries to kill Bhima. In the last video, we saw that the Pandavas have come back to the kingdom and Ved Vyasa appeared in secret before his mother Satyavati and made it known to her that the bright days of the Kuru royal family were over and that the gloomy, hard days were in store. Satyavati took the hint and arranged to retreat into the forest to prepare herself for the final emancipation. Ambika and Ambalika also decides to join their mother-in-law. Satyavati charged Bhishma with the duty of looking after so many grandsons. Bhishma bowed obedience to her mandate and derived pleasure in this new duty. The Pandava brothers still in their teens enjoyed for the first time the luxuries of the palace. They got themselves well acquainted with the cousins, 100 in number. The princess took to several active games during the, ga during the day. Duryodhan wanted to be the foremost among them, but unconsciously Bhima was always overshadowing him. In his playful mood, Bhima was not quite himself aware of his super strength. Knocking down playmates 10 at a time was a matter of course for him. When the companions were on the tree to pluck fruits, Pima would shake the trees so violently that they would all fall down along with the fruits. It was the ambition of Duryodhan to become the crown prince. But Yudhishthir was elder to him and their true apparent hire. So it was a handicap. Pima's sports were painful for Duryodhan. Hence, he was developing hatred and jealousy towards the bully brother Bhima. To fix that, he planned to kill his forest-born rival somehow. Duryodhan had one day arranged for a picnic on the river bank. While at it, he had himself served food mixed with poison to Bhima. All the kids went to play in the wood after eating. They took no note of Bhima, who fell fast asleep on the bank. Duryodhana came along, tied the hands and feet of the sleeping cousin with green creepers and pushed Bhima into the river. Yudhishthir had thought that his beloved brother had returned home early and hastened to ascertain it. Because Duryodhan had told Yudhishthir that Bhima had already gone back. Kunti became anxious over the absence of Bhima. The other brothers searched again in the picnic locality, but no trace of Bhima could be found. Kunti sent for Vidura and reported to him the possible foul play on her second son by Duryodhan. Vidura advised Kunti to keep her views on Duryodhan concealed so as to avoid danger for her other sons. He reminded her of the Rishi's assurance that all five sons would be long-lived and that they would do deeds of valour. Kunti was partially consoled and she was waiting and hoping for the best. Pima, who was thrown into the water with the limbs tightly Tied, still sleeping under the influence of the poison. Venomous snake started stinging him. The snake poison neutralized the vegetable poison. Bhima gained consciousness. With a jerk, he snapped the creepers and started killing the snakes. A few of them escaped and reported to Vasuki, their king that havoc created by Bhima. Vasuki came to the scene and recognized Bhima as a son of Kunti. Vasuki fed him with the nectar of strength and sent him back to his mother. After eight days of anxiety, the mother got back her missing son with tears of joy. But the treacherous and erstwhile joyous Duryodhan was disappointed to see Bhima Beck hale and hearty. Let's look at some of the insights here from Duryodhana's action of killing Bhima in this story. Remember, Duryodhana 
was the strongest in all Kauravas. But when Pandavas came to the kingdom, he quickly realized that Bhima was much more stronger than him. For him to become the king, he knew he had to be the strongest among them. Bhima was a big problem for Duryodhana. To fix that problem, he tried to kill Bhima so that he could easily become the king in the future. Duryodhan could have used this problem instead as an opportunity to become better in his skills, train even harder, uplift his thinking and become even more powerful. But instead, he chose to do the wrong thing. In life, every setback or problem that we face brings with it the opportunity for us to improve ourselves and become even more capable at handling bigger and bigger problems. Let's use this lesson to learn from this story to embrace problems, setbacks that we face in our life and transform ourselves to be even better than who we are. Remember, every problem has a solution. We just need to quieten our mind, focus our thoughts towards solving the problem, use our creativity and hard work to get past the problem. In the process, we become better human beings. Think. Are there any interesting things happening outside of Hastinapur when the Pandavas and the Kauravas are playing games? To find out the answer, stay tuned for the next video. If you would like to be notified about my future videos, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.